here is the hack when hi guys how are you doing hoping you're doing fine welcome to today's video guys and today i'm going to take you through our full day sunday routine and i've just woken up first thing what i normally do is opening the windows and upping my curtains so that the house will get the fresh air and i'm also just going to arrange my living room a little bit because you know with kids you never know so that is what i'm going to do and i hope you stay around till the end if you get to enjoy this video kindly drop a comment in the comment section like this video share me out and forget subscribe if you haven't subscribed so another thing is that yesterday night i i was killing some insects that's why you see the that dust on the floor i'm just going to sweep it around and the good thing is this it's called sevens i think it's doo, doo dust and it really kills the insect so well this insect that loves loves sugar sugary sugary places or even sugar you will find them crowded in a place where sugar is and where food is i'm going to leave the door open for some fresh air and also the windows for fresh air though the weather is weather today is something else clear this as my water boils as my water I don't have a kettle I I'm planning to get one. My kettle got spoiled. So I'm ready to take my shower before I go wake my girls up. My morning shower, I normally do it or I normally give it a first priority immediately I wake up. But today I had to dust the house first. So guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you do, drop a comment. here yeah, trying to make baby's porridge and i don't know why sometimes i kind of forget Gianna, though she's asleep she woke up very early it was five five i think around 5 30 that's the time Gianna woke up so right now she's like dead asleep sorry to say dead she's she's deep asleep so um i want to make her porridge and also i'm warming her water plus my hubby's water yes guys so our time is really going uh we all we normally go to church exactly at 9 a.m and it's almost nine my girls are, are ready they have already dressed up so it's just taking tea and then we we leave myself i'm ready it's just like dressing myself up so our tea over there is 
almost ready and then here is baby's porridge that's how i make my porridge i think i've done this before about these pisuforias for me i feel like they are old school i need to buy decent pots decent cooking pots i'm investing in that i think that is my next kitchen project oh money money locate me and i like making my porridge thick for easier feeding because my baby has not started feeding herself so I like it when it's thick so that I can feed her easily and then it holds the stomach for long I think it's ready this one is ready and it's very thick I like it this way so this is what She's going to have right now. And then this is what I'll be carrying for her. So guys, Ebu mother Ebu tell me, I went somewhere and I had carried porridge for my baby, and then I forgot a um, bottle. I forgot a bottle, a whole bottle like this one. And then I also forgot the kifuniko yahi. So this thing doesn't have a kifuniko. It doesn't have a lid, is it? A bottle top. Sorry, it doesn't have a bottle top. I, I went somewhere. I carried milk. I carried also porridge. Now for this one, I forgot a bottle top. And then I also forgot a whole bottle, milk bottle. This one is for porridge. And the other one was for milk. Okay, guys, I forgot and I have not had purchased another one so i don't know how i'm going to carry this one without a bottle top yeah so we are sorted this one she's going to take it right now and then i'll be carrying this one for her and we are here taking our breakfast hi baby hi mama good morning haro 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 Haros. Haros. Haros, baby. Haros. Haros, mama. Uoge. We are now ready off to church, guys. And Sunday morning is that morning that it's always just up and down, preparing the kids, preparing yourself, doing stuff. It's always a very hectic day, but I normally make sure that we make it to church very early. This is after church and we decided to go somewhere and have our lunch. We decided not to to go in the house directly. So we decided to go somewhere and have our lunch, guys. I hope so far you are enjoying this video. If you do, kindly subscribe. If you haven't, also share me out. And don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. And thank you so much for clicking on to this video. Thank you so much for for joining my family i really appreciate you for the new subscribers welcome welcome we are on our way to 2k subscribers and i hope we'll be there soon just from a very biggest disappointment we went somewhere to have lunch and i guess we went at the wrong place like we waited for food for one hour, Was it one hour? we waited for food almost one hour and when the food came it was just a very huge disappointment i couldn't even feel my i i got so tired i got so angry even my husband was complaining the entire the all the the entire time that you were there he was just complaining so guys we are back home and we came with a drink we just want to comfort ourselves yeah we came with some soda there we want to comfort ourselves well, when you go to a restaurant, I don't know you guys if you have ever gotten a disappointment. 
like you wait for food for ages and the way we were hungry because immediately from church we decided to go thinking that you are going to relax and have some nice and sweet meals okay mm, we were there for the first time we have never been to that place so we went there for the very very first time yeah, i wish i knew so we are back home guys and if you haven't subscribed kindly make sure you subscribe you like this video you share me out and also you drop a comment in the comment section what's up next i want to do some i want to unhang and fold the clothes and then i'll be making dinner Here is the hack. When when I've done this, it's easy. I'm just going to to keep them faster, faster, rather than removing them on cloth line. And then I go, you sit down, you start folding that one. It's really hard for me. So I do this to avoid like letting them to pile for days before I fold. So when I'm done like this, it's just keeping them. This is what I do. I fold from there from the wire line immediately i unhang them it's always a norm or is it a, a rule in my house whenever i want to start cooking i must open the windows and up the curtain so i'm here and i want to make some dinner we're just going to have a very simple dinner which is ugali with some stew guys and uh, so far so good thank you so much for sticking around you guys are the best i really appreciate you so much and you're going to make some chicken and ugali and i hope you have enjoyed this video to the fullest as i did enjoying while filming it for you thank you so much guys for watching till here until my next video bye bye